what happened recently, all I have to say is, if it's your first time experiencing something like this, welcome to crypto. These things do happen, I wouldn't say often, but you'd expect these things to happen, I, I would say, a few times a year, right? Especially if we have moves that we go from 40,000 to 65,000 like that. Don't be too scared if this happens. This is quite normal, so don't freak out. Anyways, this video, I'm just going to give you my analysis on what I believe Bitcoin's future could look like. So, let's just get started. As we've seen here, we did break all-time high back in November, November 8th, right? We were around, I don't know, like $68,000 roughly. And we pretty much fell, currently as of right now, about 28%. But if you want to go down to the wick, it's about 37% minus, right? So it's not too bad, honestly. Again, these things are quite normal for Bitcoin. And when I say normal, I mean like not like happens every day. But you, it should not surprise you if you just wake up one day and see negative, you know, 25% or plus 20%. It's quite, you know, quite normal. Anyways, let's talk about a few things that could have offered us a warning sign, right? Uh, bearish divergence. Simply put, if the price gets higher... While the RSI, right, this is the RSI, gets lower, right? So this is a peak here, but we, if we try to go up, we made a lower peak. So this is a sign of weakness, right? But what happens is it's not in conjunction with this. It's not agreeing with this. That's why it's called a divergence. They diverge from one another, right? So that's a bearish sign. It's not a good thing, right? So if you're like, hey, that's crazy. This is just one point of data. I would never use this, right? Well, hey, 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 here we go. There's another one right here. So this is a now. Let's just look at this one, right? So we have multiple peaks, multiple drives of bearish divergence here, right? So you can see there's a peak. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. A point here, a lower high, lower high, lower high, right? So we just about four times, right? And look what happened. Here we got uh, 42,000, right? 48,000. Here we go. Uh, sorry, 40. So this one was, sorry, 46,000, 47,000, 49,000, <laughs> 42,000, right? So we're just getting, we're just going higher, higher and higher and higher. While the RSI is getting lower, 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 right? Well, look what happened. Again, it did go down. Let's just measure how much it went down, right? So from this peak down, let's just go down here. 24%. Again, nothing too crazy, guys. And yes, you guys might be looking at this portion right here. Like here, like we just went sideways and we dropped down again. Could that happen over here? Yes, it could. And some people said, wait, it already happened, right? Did we go here, we went sideways, and then we went down again. Did it happen? I mean, it could, right? Again, with crypto, just because our any markets, just because it happened over here, does not mean it has to happen exactly over here. So just keep that in mind, guys. There's a lot of things that can happen, but let me just say, you see this lovely red, purple, and this color, right? These are just moving averages, right? If we are closing multiple days above these moving averages, that is quite a good sign. Now, we do run into an issue if we cannot, you know, get back above some moving averages as they will act as resistance, right? So... Let's talk about moving averages now. So this is the fun part of my whole analysis, right? So we broke, uh, today we broke through officially this week, we broke through the 21 weekly EMA, right? Uh, if we don't, if we don't, if we don't get back above 52,500 by Sunday evening, right? Um, obviously your time zone is different. That would mean that we are closing underneath the 21 weekly EMA. However, the good news is we bounce off the 55, this green one over here around 43,000. This is a nice bounce, right? So if we just measure how much we bounced off from that, I mean, we were, we're up almost 14% from the bounce. I mean, imagine if you had a buy order here and you're like, hey, I wanted to buy Bitcoin at, you know, $42,000, you know, for the memes, right? And then you got your order and now it's up to 48,000. Well, hey, you made, you made a decent amount of money. So sometimes being patient does pay off, right? So again, we have to be careful if we are breaking some structure. Now, again, it's not a doomsday event if we close underneath the 21. It just means that we might spend some time going sideways, but don't be scared. That's, you know, that's quite a good thing for us to go sideways, okay? Obviously, it does not mean 100% going sideways. We go to $100,000 uh, the next year or whatever, right? It's nothing in crypto is ever like that. It's all about, like, possibilities, right? So the longer we do go sideways, all it means is people who wanted to sell, they're starting to take profits. They're starting to get out of market. And the people who aren't selling, it just means that, hey, they believe the price could go higher. So they're not bothering to sell, right? So all that means is eventually sellers will be exhausted. All right, let's talk about one more thing that I believe could shape up the markets. So this is the monthly chart, okay? Now, remember, each candle represents one month. And what we see here is something quite nice. A lot of people say, hey, this is double top, double top. No, let me remind you, double tops do not happen after breaking an all-time high. 
Um, <laughs> not quite, right? Especially when you have uh, an RSI pattern like this, not quite such a bad RSI. But what we need to see is we might see, again, some people might not like this. We, we could be testing, right, the 21 monthly average. But let me say for this right now, we are right now testing the white one, which is a 10. This is, this is around $48,800, right? So if we, if we can close the monthly above that, I would say the bull market is definitely, I would say definitely, but probably like a higher than 85% chance the bull market is still going on. Again, we still have about 27 days and six hours before the monthly closes. <laughs> so there's a lot of time, right? And I do believe, again, I wouldn't be speaking here if I wasn't bullish on Bitcoin. I am hugely bullish on Bitcoin for many reasons. One fundamental reason is obviously there's only 21 million Bitcoin, but we can have how much fiat money can we have? Unlimited, right? So let me just give you one of my biggest reasons why I love Bitcoin. You have a finite number of supply versus an infinite number of supply. I mean, overall, you know, over the span of the whole history of Bitcoin, what do you think is going to happen, right? Let's just go back in time and look at, let's go look at it, right? So again, humble origins, Bitcoin started at six cents, okay? Back in July 1st, 2010, this is like, one of the first recorded data points and look where we are here now <laughs> guys the math speaks for itself but anyways let's just talk about one more metric a more of a fundamental metric okay so as we see here we're already in extreme fear now you guys like this means nothing to me right so you want to see charts i love charts right so let's just go here let's go to the one year data point on this again we've been at this point where it's just a high amount of fear and obviously i'm going to repeat it you know, you need to be greedy when people are fearful. When a, when we were up here, it looks like this, right? Sorry, let me go back to the daily. When we were when we were above here, you know, hitting the greedy points, it was like up here, okay? People, you know what people are saying? We need to go to a hundred thousand right now, right now. I mean, when when someone feels that entitled, you should be a little scared, right? There's no just because we have a pattern like this does not mean a hundred percent chance that it has. Like Bitcoin does not have to do anything, right? Bitcoin will do its thing and you will just watch it no matter what. You're, you, you are not in a driver's seat. Bitcoin will do what it wants to do and you're just an observer, okay? So do remember your place. But, sorry, I don't mean to insult you guys. But, you know, what I, what my theory is we could go sideways, right? Just like how over here, we could remain pretty much sideways like for another three weeks, you know, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever it's going to take, right? What we do want to see is people who don't believe in the market to get out of the market. And then what happens is obviously the people who do believe that won't be selling, right? They'll stay in the market. And eventually over time, right? Price could, in could increase. Well, guys, that's all I have for today. There's nothing too fancy about it, right? It's just moving averages and, you know, examining RSI in conjunction with price, right? You can't just always use RSI alone. Like I can't just say, oh my God, RSI is at um, 78 right? I need to sell right now. That's not quite how it works, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, enough insulting, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.